Hey guys, in this video we're going to go through the steps involved in setting up a 5M server in a Windows desktop or Windows server environment. The steps are going to be virtually the same for both, but uh, this is just going to be a pretty well bare bones setup of the 5M server application and some basic configuration. We're not going to cover any resource addition stuff, uh, resources being things like roleplay frameworks or even basic scripts. But uh, before we get started, a few things to note. Uh, port forwarding may be required if you're self-hosting this machine this instance at home. Um, this is going to allow players to connect remotely, um, specifically allowing inbound connections to your system on the uh, ports that the 5M server is going to use. So I'll list the ports down below um, if you need to open these, but uh, if you need help with setting up you know, your port forwarding settings, you can always just look up some videos online or some, some written tutorials. There's plenty of content out there for it. Um, you may also need to make some firewall adjustments, uh, specifically if you're running this in a server environment. As you'll find, there's a pretty well strict set of rules with most uh, dedicated server, virtual server rental services. Um, so again, the ports are down below if you need to use those. Uh, another thing people get confused with at first sight uh, is this FX server. Uh, it's just the name of the 5M server application. So you must generate a new license code uh, for each instance you're running. Um, the licenses are on a per IP basis, so make sure that if you end up moving servers or something or you run a, new, a secondary instance, you generate a new license code for it. And we'll show you where to put this license code in a second. But uh, first thing we're going to open up is this page here. Uh, this is the uh, download instruction page for the FX server. Uh, so make sure you have VC++ uh, 2017 or anywhere installed. Uh, just download it and run it and make sure it's, it's installed in your machine. Um, and just next, we're going to create a folder to work with. In my case, I just created this empty folder called 5M server. Um, that's just going to house our server files and data. Uh, next, we're going to download the latest branch uh, from this link right here, Artifact Server. You're going to click on the most recent one, oh, which will usually be the second one down. Click on it, download it. I already got it right here. So we'll grab the files. Oops. Extract that. And then we're going to go back to the page here. We're going to download the server data folder. Um, there's a few ways you can arrange the file structure. I like to keep it all in the same uh, folder to work with. Makes just makes it a bit easier, a bit easier to maintain and uh, make changes too. So uh, we'll download that. You can do this by going to the GitHub page. And if you don't have a Git client installed, you can just click download zip. Um, in my case, I already have that downloaded here. So same deal. Um, we're just going to go into this uh, CFX server data master folder and drag the resources folder over to our 5M server directory. And uh, as you can see, this is how it should be set up. So next, we're going to use a, a server CFG template. You can actually just scroll down here and copy all this if you want. In my case, I already did that, and I put it in here. That's all our, all our stuff. And we'll just drag that into the folder. Um, so, like I said, there's a few different ways you can structure the files, but in this tutorial, we're just going to do it pretty simple and keep it nice and clean. Um, so, as you can see, there's a run command script here. Um, to use it, uh, the simplest way is to just set up a bat file like this. Uh, Run.cmd and exec the server CFG file. So, again, that'll be in the description of the video you can use. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically it for setting up uh, the files. Next we're just going to grab our license code uh, from this link right here on this page and uh, you just got to sign in. I'm already logged in onto the form so I'm ready to go. Uh, as you can see um, I already have a key active so I'm going to copy that key and open up the server CFG file that we placed into the 5M server folder. Scroll down to the bottom replace the uh, license key value and that's it. Uh, since I'm already port forwarded on this uh, this network, I'm basically ready to go. There's a few settings you can change uh, off the bat in the server CFG file. You know your server name, uh, slot counts, stuff like that. Um, your resources are actually loaded from this file as well. Um, the order in which you set these up is pretty important. Usually, you'll see uh, in instructions on this for each resources that is released on the uh, the 5M forums, but uh, just pay attention to that when, you, when you're setting this file up. We're going to cover some resource additions in some other videos, but 
Uh, and this one is just a basic server setup. So we're going to go ahead and start the server. I'm just going to want to make me allow access, which is fine. I'll put my 5M client so you can see that it works. It's just going to update really quick. All right, it's done updating. And our uh, game client is open now. So we're going to go ahead and click on localhost at the top. And we're now joining the server that's running locally on our machine. All right, you can see we're in the game now. That's it. You see mods joined. If you, dev console is the F8 key. You can open that up. Uh, check for script errors and such, but uh, yeah, you can see in our case it uh, logs my player connection, and that's it. That's just the, the setup of the bare bones 5M server.